Hi everyone, Susan Mobis, Licensed Massage Therapist. I'm here for part three of the forearm, hand, arm um, sharing. And now we're gonna use a foam roller. I love this thing. Love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. I have other foam rollers that you can see back there. And I'll do some sharing about different things I do with different foam rollers. This was my first foam roller. Um, it's a marble pro roller from optp.com and again this is part three part one we worked on the hands and the forearms with uh, little squishy balls and the foot rubs part two were stretches for the hands and wrists and forearms and part three now is going to be the foam roller getting into this side part of the body and the and the back which is the arms insert into the back and torso um, and then coming up into the upper arm both sides so we'll do that on the floor now and uh, hope it's helpful for you so um, I like to lie down first and just oh, take a few breaths <sighs> just like to let my body be in resting relaxed position I might roll my neck. I just noticed my neck was holding a little, so I'm just gonna roll that. As my body starts to settle and relax on the floor, it feels a little bunched up, so I'm just moving to allow it a little more space in the areas that are starting to relax and lengthen. So when we relax, the muscles disengage and lengthen. When we are working and running around, we're contracting the muscles so they shorten. So as they lengthen and relax, the body feels a little bunched up and wants more space to relax. I huh. feel like I could just take a nap right here. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna take the foam roller. Um, I'm just gonna start on one side, pick a side. Uh, and I'm starting all the way at the base of the back. So right where, right where the pelvis starts, right where the hip bone starts. And I usually start, so I'm a little bit tilted. So I'm on my right side, I'm a little bit tilted to the right. I'm not right on my backbone, on the spine. I'm more just um, here. I'm rolling right here on the erectors. If we're going to talk about muscles at all but again I tend to think about the body more in terms of fascia and connective tissue I just got a crack yay so I'm inching up and down and again I do slightly different things on slightly different days I'm just checking in with my body right now asking what it needs right now and it needs some length in that lower back but then what I really like to do for the arm piece, which is what we're doing for this video, is to go from the back. So I have the foam roller here. I'm rolling from the back to the side to the front, kind of along the rib. And because I'm running along the rib cage, I gotta be careful. You wanna be careful with your ribs. You wanna be careful with your body anyway. So I'm gonna say in this video, in case you didn't watch the other videos, it's better to come with more of a Buddha, loving, compassion, kindness, curiosity, exploration kind of mind, not I got to get in there and fix it and do it aggressive, Nike, just do it mind. So not bashing Nike. Sometimes you got to power through and just do stuff. Not so much with the foam roller, especially when you're working around delicate areas like the rib cage, the breast area for women, well, for men too, but right? So Ah, so I'm just, I'm talking to you while I'm doing this, so I'm adding another dimension. In my practice, I'm not talking, but when I'm sharing my process and teaching, I'm talking. So, um, so I'm going to stop every so often and just breathe and check in because that's the practice. And, 
Yeah, and I'm already feeling some lengthening here. I feel a lot of tightness right here. What I'm doing is allowing the foam roller to enter the tissue and change it. So I'm letting the foam roller in. I'm allowing myself to melt, soften, open. And I'm reminding myself that our physics has already proven everything's energy. Right? And 98% is, 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 there's no matter. It's no matter, nothing matters. <laughs> it's just energy, it's space, ether, ether kind of energy space. And then the other 2% is the matter that's vibrating really fast and, uh, or the energy that's vibrating really fast and creating matter. So I wanna let um, my body remember that mostly it, there, it's space. There's actually very little matter here. There's ma very little that matters here. Um, it's mostly energy. And um, when I'm feeling tension, it's that density like pulling, pulling, pulling in. And I can allow things to soften and disengage and let go. Now I'm bringing my chest closer and I'm actually up into the armpit and it feels really good. So I'm up into the armpit and I'm gonna bring the arm back and forth. And this is going across the tissue, sort of a shearing effect. And I'm riding the line, there's like an edge of my triceps here that feels really dense. And, and I'm gonna rest my head on my arm while I work because that feels really good. There's no reason to engage my neck. So I'm just, I'm just gonna go over that tricep edge, over the edge and come back. And you might see, I can feel my, my muscle going twang. Um, and then I'm going to inch my way along the same direction as the muscle fibers. And I'm coming all the way up into the elbow. And again, my head and neck are completely relaxed on my arm. And as this is releasing here in my arm, I'm feeling more space along here. And I'm just gonna put my arm here, my hand here, to remind my body that they're connected. And that as my arm releases, my back and armpit and all the fascia muscles going into the armpit and the shoulder can relax. And then I'm gonna take the arm so I'm gonna take this hand and put my weight on it and come up, take all the weight off. And you can put your arm, I used to put the arm in front of my torso and that feels really good. And again, I can do the inching, which is okay, but I like going side to side. Ah, oh. so side, so I'm going front, the back and just rolling. My whole body's relaxed. So it's my, it's actually my leg is pushing off the floor. I'm just trying to check in and see how am I initiating this movement, but whatever's going to work for you. Oh, holy moly, that bicep is tight. Wow. All right, so it feels good to put the arm in front of the torso, but what I noticed um, in my last video, I was talking about how um, I was having some elbow problems. What I noticed when I was having elbow problems is if I put my arm behind my torso and then do the same thing. And then I can also, I'm also bending. So I can have it straight behind or I can bend at the elbow and do this. 
and then you can see, hello, there's my hand waving at you. So again, when you're doing this, just check in with your neck and see what's going on. Um, I don't have a lot of head neck. I'm not saying I don't have any tension in the head or neck. I have a body, so you know there's gonna be tension from time to time. But I don't have chronic head neck stuff anymore, really. Um, okay, there's this one little crunch in my cervical spine. But but like when I go for a massage, for example, and you know, I'm not going, you know, neck and shoulders, you know, where I that's not my focal point. So um I don't remember why I started to say that. Doesn't matter. Oh, because when you're doing this stuff, um, if you're holding on to, you know, you gotta keep your head up. So that might be, if you have head neck issues, um, that might be aggravating it for you. So, so as you're working, so I'm just trapped the arm in a place that feels like a yummy place. And I'm just gonna allow my neck to move around so it doesn't get fixed and stuck. And now I'm coming up, I'm right into the elbow. Oh, and now I'm gonna just bend and straighten my arm. So let's see. So I'm into the elbow and I'm bending and straightening. So shearing shearing the tissue, and then I like to rotate the arm. Come up and down, rolling on the arm. There we go. Huh. So that was one arm. And a lot of times I need to come into neutral after I do one side. So for me, neutral right now is looking at the camera and talking to you. Um, neutral could be lying down. So I want to give my body a chance to integrate what I did on the one side before I move to the other side. And also, also working with the foam roller, doing any kind of stretches, uh, it starts to elongate the tissue on the side that you're working. What I have found for myself is when I elongate that tissue, if I immediately go to the other side, sometimes that tissue is still elongated, and then when it comes back into a more resting, natural state, um, and I'm already working on the other side, it gets stuck somewhere. And that's, a lot of times, you know, if you wake up with a crick in your neck or whatever, sometimes it's because you were really stretched out, and then you moved, and that stretched out tissue stayed stretched out, and then you moved and something came back into place and the tissue now can't come back in because you moved and locked it into that position. So I'm not sure of how I articulated that made sense, but the point is after doing one side, give your body a couple of breaths, more than a couple of breaths to come back into neutral. You may be stretched away from neutral and you want to come back into neutral before you start stretching on the other side. So now I just did that by lying down and talking to you. Now I'm gonna do the left side. Uh, for me, I had an accident uh, 20, when I was in my mid 20s, so 20 something years ago, and I landed right here on pavement pretty hard. And so, Um, breathing and being with that part of my body. I'm just, just trapping the tissue with the foam roller. And breathing and noticing 
And then I start to come in, do my, oh, that feels good. I'm, I'm on like the 11th or the 12th rib here. Just the very, very bottom of the rib cage. I'm actually gonna come off the rib cage and just go into my, huh. So the bottom of the foam roller is along the as is, the front, the front of the iliac crest along the pelvic bowl. And this back part of the roller is coming into my organs a little bit, and that feels good. So you gotta be careful when you're working in your organs, but sometimes it just feels good to compress. And I'm back up in the rib cage, so I'm kind of just playing with that relationship of front of the pelvis and rib cage. And organs. So on the left side, spleen and stomach. Um, and intestines. And then I'm rolling more along the back. There we go. So something freed up in the back there just by doing that. And I just, I just followed my intuition. It said, roll forward. So I rolled forward. Um, I also know in my analytical mind that that's connected for me um, and for most of us. Um, now I'm in the rib cage area approaching the armpit. I'm not quite at the armpit. And this side of my body is, I think in the shoulder area when I landed on that hip years ago, I jolted the shoulder in some way, and so um, I have had some amazing, wonderful body work, and uh, I have a wonderful massage therapist in my life right now who I'm going to see in a month. Um, I haven't seen him in a while because I do all this stuff on my own, but every once in a while I go to the professionals, and uh, he's been able to really, really help me break up not break up, but ungum. It feels gummy. Ungum these tissues in, along the rib cage um, and in the breast area. So all of this was just dense, compressed tissue. And it comes up into the shoulder girdle and comes down into the arm and affects my elbow, right? It affects my work, it affects my posturing. I'm getting now into, so right now I'm on well, right now I'm on the back, but a moment ago, and in a moment, I will be rolling onto right here, the front, um, front of the armpit. And I'm just gonna rest my chin or my cheek on the foam roller and breathe. So I feel like I'm a little twisted in my, yeah, that's better. I wanted to straighten out my legs a little bit. Oh my God. If you've ever had massage, deep tissue massage in your armpit area, it has this intense burning kind of sensation, um, which isn't bad. It's just different parts of the body have different sensations. And I'm into that a little bit, and I'm glad because it's sometimes hard to work the armpit on yourself. And uh, so I'm gonna do a little shearing, which is that side to side. So I have a tissue, I have the tissue trapped a little bit, and then I just move the arm. And I might rotate. So notice I'm rotating at my elbow. <clears throat> and then I have a nice stretch along here. And I'm inching, inching, inch, 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 up and down. It'd be interesting to watch this video because 
the movements often on the foam roller are so, so minute that it's really hard to convey. I just gotta say with the fist, that's really hard to convey what's going on inside because these self-practice methods are really an inside job. Um, so it might be really boring for you to watch me doing my practice, but I assure you for me, not boring at all. Um, which is another way of saying for you, do your own private practice, your own internal practice. And instead of following what somebody's telling you to do on a video, go in, get your arm on a roller like this and be like, wow, that's intense. How can I ease up on some of that intensity? Well, you can back off, right? Put, or you can move. So again, I'm riding that uh, edge of the tricep and I'm just playing the edge because I know it's, it's, it just feels really dense and stuck. So I'm gonna do a little shearing. I wanna, I wanna make sure my wrist doesn't get stuck because my tricep is tight. So I'm gonna move my arm around because later today when I'm doing deep tissue massage, I'm gonna be using my arm and my forearm and I want my body to remember that <clears throat> it can be free up here and free here while we're, while we're doing that work. I'm gonna rest my head. You might have watched me just don't <laughs> come up and down, up and down, and then just like I did on the other <clears throat> on the other video, I'm gonna put this behind my back. I'm not even gonna show you in front. You can do in front if you want. You don't have to do what I'm doing. Um, this feels so good. And it feels so good, not in a, at the moment, I'm just on the, this very top. So I start at the top of the shoulder and then work down the arm. Um, at the moment, it's not like it's an intense good, it's like a sweet good. It's like, like somebody just hit a quick release, even though it's not an intense feeling where I'm lying on the roller. And that's interesting to note too, because as a massage therapist, a lot of times on the table, people are like, I want deep work. I want the whole thing to be deep work. And it's like, you know, deep work is great, but it's not a panacea. It doesn't fix everything. And a lot of times it gets in the way of things unfolding because we want that intensity. I want to feel intensely all the time. It's like, you don't need to feel intensely all the time for your body to unwind. nice to feel intensely but that's not always what gets the job done so you know is your goal to feel good and relaxed and release later or is it just to feel intense um, I don't know I don't know what's your goal I like to feel intensity too I admit it um, and I like sweet relaxation I like it all so so sometimes I move my body in, in relation to the roller and I just let the roller be the, I just let the roller roll. Sometimes you might notice my body stays where it is and I just move the roller. You can do that too, right? Sometimes I'm there and I'm like, oh, I just want to lift my body and put it here. Yeah, that's good. So my hand, actually, my butt's kind of sitting on part of my hand now. My, my elbow's not bent. It wants to be straight today. Um, I did, I've been doing, um, yeah, I just, you know, I, I work a lot and, um, and that's okay. I love work. 
I love work. I love my work. I love working with people. Um, it's amazing. Um, and I also need a break. <laughs> um, and some, some weeks my body is just fine. And other weeks my body's like, I feel what you were, what we were just doing. And, uh, and usually it's in this elbow that's like, I feel what we were just doing. So the last couple of days I've had some really intense deep tissue sessions where we're riding the line because they need the deep tissue work and at the same time like what's holding them together like glue is some emotional stuff that they're not dealing with which we had conversation about um, and then as soon as we did that they softened and I could get in without um, feeling it on my body so that's something we as massage therapists constantly have to work on is um, or at least myself and some of the people I've talked to okay I'm bending my arm now Um, is that line between um, wanting to give the client on the table who's in pain and wants to feel that intense, the int meet, be, have their intensity met with the deep tissue work and melt from that versus um, allowing us in. You know, we seem to want people to break down our defenses instead of just giving up. And uh, I say we, because I'm that way too. So now I'm going into my neutral, my neutral period um, after doing that side, because it's, wow, it feels really long. It feels really different. I'm just gonna let my neck settle in a little bit. We tend to be really protected and that's necessary, unfortunately, or fortunately, in our society these days um, that we kind of have to walk around um, and protect ourselves physically, you know? We use our energy and our bodies in a tense way um, so that we feel, so that we can feel safe enough to go out and do our day. Um, and then we come onto the massage table and we're just like, I want to feel, I want to feel, I want to feel, but we're all protected. And, and then we wonder why the massage therapist just can't do that deep work we want. And it's because we're pushing her out or him out. And it's nice to want to be touched in a deep way and our part is to open and soften and allow that and that's what we can learn on the massage table and that's what we can learn in our foam roller sessions with ourselves is right now in this room right here it's safe to soften to open to allow the foam roller to touch me on a deep level and to change, um, it's okay to do that. And it's okay to do that when you're on the massage table too. It's okay to trust that the person who's working on you has your best interest at heart. And it's okay when you're with your loving partner to soften and open and let them in. It's okay to let go and to drop that protection. You don't have to be physically tense to feel safe and protected.